This is a brake accumulator for 2008 NT Pajero 3.2 diesel. Um, mine made a funny noise with all the lights on the dash. I'll put a link to the video of what it did. And um, bought a new one and installed it. And out of interest, I thought I'd cut open the old one. Firstly, I uh, made sure it's empty. I cut a little slot here. Um, there was hardly any air that came out. Um, but yeah, make sure it's because there's a possibility of still high pressure nitrogen there. So be careful when you cut yours open. Um, so yeah, I cut open that. It's actually a very simple device. Um, you will see here, that's the other half of it. It's just a cylinder with a piston with a bunch of O-rings. On the inside there's practically nothing going on, but you can see there's the access hole there. So when they charge it, they probably put the nitrogen in there with a special device. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, and then this cap will be screwed on and on the inside is this piston. So your brake fluid from the pump will come in here and push the piston up here and over here there will be high pressure nitrogen in which is separated by the three o-rings here and the cap that screws on has got that little white spacer with another o-ring that goes there as well to seal it there so um, if yours fails I think the easiest way is to just <coughs> obviously with the ignition on you pump your brake pedal 40 times and that will depressurize the brake fluid and just leave the high pressure gas in this area over here you'll then unscrew this by hand um, I use the air fil uh, oil filter wrench just to unscrew it so unsc unscrew it then from your uh, master cylinder that assembly there in the engine bay I would then get an engineering shop just to lathe off because there is a little lip here just to lathe off the little lip and then you can unscrew the cap then you remove the cylinder over here and just change out all the o-rings clean it properly change out all the o-rings reassemble it and then you'll have to get a gas company to open that up and repressurize the gas in there I don't know what the pressure is um, I think it was no. I, I can't remember what I read somewhere what the pressure was. Um, but yeah, I'll look it up and I'll see if I can put it in the description if I find it again. And yeah, just read pressure of the nitrogen gas, and that should fix the cylinder. It should be a lot cheaper than buying a new one. A new one cost me in South Africa about four thousand rand, which is about two hundred dollars. So yeah, I hope that helps someone in the future. For more, like and subscribe.